With the launch of Season 18, Bungie decided to bring back one of the most coveted shotguns in the entire game, and that is the Mindbender's Ambition. Mindbender's, back in the day, used to be a very good shotgun, one of the best in the game because of the two perks you can actually get on that shotgun at that time, which was Quick Draw and Snapshot. Now, the perk pool on Mindbender's Ambition is not really that good, if you know what I'm talking about. The perks you can actually get on Mindbenders is not great, and it's not really the best thing ever. Um, to put it in retrospective, you can get Fragile Focus, Threat Detector, ETC, but it's just not it. And I want to showcase the weapon in the best way I could possibly do, so here's a montage to show the Mindbenders its true potential in PvP and how it could be better. y'all seen what the shotgun can do right but yeah um that's pretty much it uh i'm gonna be pairing the mindbender's ambition with the dire promise the other half sword stompies and we're gonna be running golden gun dead shot the role that i have is pugulist and swashbuckler now swashbuckler and pugulist work really really good together um, Swashbuckler basically, once you get a kill, your weapon does more damage, and once you get a melee kill, it's the same thing, you get more damage. So, Pugless also works the same way, final blows this weapon generate melee energy, and dealing melee damage briefly improves the we weapon's handling. So, I was going to go on my Titan for this, but I realized that I'm probably not going to get any benefit off of Titan because, you know, Titan... Titan is good and all for this type of build, but I just wouldn't use it for Titan. I don't feel like the shotgun is going to be consistent, but I can't be judging because it's my first time using this shotgun. And a lot of people back in the day used to run this shotgun with the, with the uh, spare rations, aka the spare benders gang. So this shotgun was iconic back in the day, but the hurt pool is just not it at all. But yeah, if you're enjoying today's video, so far, like, and subscribe, and let's get right into the video. Alright y'all, we are on uh, Bostock. This isn't really the best map for this to work on, because this map is really, really big. So we're going to push the push the cave first, because it's a shotgun video. Oh, that actually killed him. Alright, we need to back up. That actually killed him. I didn't think it was going to be that consistent. But we, we, but we got him really close range, so... I'm gonna slash shotgun this next guy. Oh, I missed. Wow, I missed that shot easily. He's gonna probably push this. That guy's dead already because of the knife. We're gonna back up all the way up here. Go. I got his dead. Oh, I just got it. I just got body shot it. I'm gonna jump up here, go back in the cave real quick. There's, there's gotta be some people in the cave now. Yeah, here we go, right here on C. Guy's dead. That guy's also dead. We got the triple play, let's go. But there's gonna be a bleak watcher on us. It's right here, too. Ah, uh, damn. Bro, get. And people say Warlocks don't got any good abilities. What is this turret, bro? Get off my ass! Oh, there's people behind me. We're gonna back up here. That's a big mistake. He just popped the corner. We're gonna throw that in there just in case. Oh, we hit somebody with the knife. Let's go. That guy is dead. 
What? I hit him for 23 in the body? Uh, I'm gonna pop a goalie down here. There we go. Um, thank you. I got the kill 20 years after I shot the dude. Nice. This game is funny sometimes. Dire Promise is actually feeling pretty consistent. I don't really like hand cannons, but I love Dire Promise as a hand cannon as a whole. You're not killing me, bro. <laughs> Get that sniper out of my globby. Thank you, teammate. <gasps> I had to reload! Are you? Oh my god, he would have got clipped. That connection is that that connection needs to be fixed on me. I'm sorry. Here, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm not surviving that one. That's a delicate tomb too. He's not using a great fusion rifle. Thank you. I'm I'm dead. There's too many people here. Wow, that's not consistent at all. <laughs> he just tried to emote on my teammate. <laughs> you think this is sweet out here? Ain't shit sweet, homie. Holy crap, we got 25 opponents defeated with the shotgun and the uh, hand cannon combo. Very good game on our part. Alright, y'all. If y'all enjoyed today's video, comment and subscribe. The Mind Banner's Ambition, what used to be the best. Sorry, I burped there. The Mind Banner's Ambition which used to be the best shotgun in the game back in Forsaken times. This is a mid shotgun. It's okay. It's not the best shotgun in the game anymore because the perk pool is just bad. You can get, you know, Swashbuckler. You can get Fragile Focus, Threat Detector. Like, no, I don't need Threat Detector on a shotgun and I don't need Fragile Focus on a shotgun. This shotgun is an aggressive frame, not a slug. I don't need Fragile Focus on this thing. But the perk pool is just not great. Um, the shotgun is good. The way it shoots, I like it. The way it looks, I like it. The way it just... It, it, the overall feel of the shotgun is just really good. The only downside is the perk pool. Um, the perk pool is not that good. And sometimes the shotgun is good. But when you're a little too far away, you're not going to be able to hit anything. Like 23s to the body is unacceptable. Especially if you're like medium range. I can get it. But the shotgun is... It's, it's, it's a mid shotgun, okay? It's not the best shotgun in the game like everybody hypes it up to be. It's just a decent shotgun and it's just it's just decent, okay? That's all I gotta say, it's just decent. But if you do wanna get this shot, shotgun, you can actually get it from Nightfalls this week. It's only available this week and the Nightfall of the week is actually the Light Blade Nightfall and that's the Witch Queen Nightfall. And yes, that's the one with the exploding butterflies. We don't talk about that Nightfall, especially if you're a Grandmaster player. That Nightfall is just AIDS. I, I don't like the Nightfall at all. But yeah, the Nightfall is a uh, Sabbath Moon's Throne World. And it's it's easy to get on a Legend, Master, and Hero. But uh, it's not going to be great if you're on Master. I mean, I'm sorry, not Master. But it's not going to be great if you're on Grandmaster. Because Grandmaster, it's just not a good... It's, it's not a good difficulty. Grandmaster is a very hard version of the Nightfall. And you, 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 you're going to get the Adept version of the Mindbender, of course. It's just... It's just not a great experience if you're especially playing on a, a Grandmaster version. If you enjoyed today's video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everybody in the next video. Take care.